one of the things that friends like to do when they get together is see how much they know about each other, right? No, no one does that. No one says, let's see how much we know about each other. But what if I told you there was a game that allowed you to do just that? Let's take a look right now at Polemic. See how it plays, what it is, and if you need to find more friends and different friends after you play the game. So here's how you play Polemic. It's very, very simple. Everyone gets some guest cards and some opinion cards, whether you like or dislike. Someone will then draw from one of these topic cards here, which if you look at things like yoga, time travel fiction, Denny's, philosophy, anarchy, live theater, at the art museums, public television, uh, junk food, talking to strangers in line, Bitcoin, feng shui podcast, uh, conspiracy theories, Justin Bieber, you know, and then there's think of a topic like, think of a topic like, think of a topic like. So all kinds of different topics, just tons of different topics to talk about current events and things like that, which is always fun, right? Uh, then you place down your opinion whether you like that thing or dislike it. So let's just say it is planning things in detail. No, let's do something more interesting than that. Wow, none of those are. Uh, hosting parties, your last job, TED Talks. There we go. So you know you have that friend who's always like, dude, I just watched this TED Talk. It was about uh, the interlacing of neurotransmissions during sleep. It's pretty great. you know. And he wants to tell you all about it. So what you do is, You'll look at that topic and you'll put whether you like or dislike it. Let's just say I dislike TED Talks. I'm kind of ambivalent. There's not an ambivalent card. Dislike TED Talks. So I'll put my dislike card down. Then I'll take as many guest cards as I have players playing in the game. So let's just say I have three players playing in the game. So I'll need zero, one, two, or three guest cards. How many people I think like TED Talks? I will then guess based on what I know about my friends. Who do I think likes TED Talks with there's two other people playing I'll put two just in case because I think everyone loves a good TED Talk we flip it up oh there's likes oh there's likes they guess if I dislike it or like it and then we move on from there if you on your turn guess the correct total number of people that like the topic you score a point the player to your left takes a turn the game ends when one or more players earn four points and that is the entire game so that's it. It's really an activity. And, and honestly, it's, it, let's, let's go to the philosophical point here for a minute. It's an activity for people who don't know the worldview. I know we're getting deep philosophy now. The worldview of their friends. Most people know the worldview of your friends. Because here's the thing about polemic. You're not going to sit down at the game store and go, oh, well, let's see, two of us here. We need four more people. Hey, do you guys want to come play with us? You can't. Because the whole point is you're guessing what you think you know about your friends. And so... You can't play this with people you don't know their worldview. So it's basically a, I know what this person thinks sort of game, so I'm going to get points for guessing that that's what they're going to say. Oh, what, you really do love communism? Well, that's crazy. I never would have thought that, right? No one's going to be surprised. I did not like how this is done. It's an activity to get conversation started. It doesn't say this in the instructions, but that's what this is. It's an activity to get conversation started with your friends. So you can say, oh, you're a fan of professional wrestling. You like Star Trek. I like Star Wars. Honestly, though, I just these are these games to to me are really weird. These let's start a conversation games because I I don't know if it's it's political, philosophical, ethical bent towards some of these that are like let's start a conversation about X. Now again, the, the critics of what I'm saying right now would say, well, Brian, no, there's all kinds of topics on there. Absolutely, there are. But the whole point is, if you don't know your friends good enough to know what their major worldviews are, then yeah, you can still have fun by being like, oh, I didn't know you loved Italian food that much. Great. It's just, I, I just, no, nah, it's not for me. And if you like this sort of game, great. This is just not my sort of a game to where you get together and find out what you don't know about your friends. Our friends are our friends because we have so much in common in our lives, our, our philosophies, our, our worldviews, and all that sort of stuff. So it's just, it's, an, it's a no for me. It might be something you enjoy if you like that sort of... Um, party-ish style game, but uh, it's not adult themed. You can make it, I'm sure, it some weird way it can become adult themed, but it's not. It's actually pretty family friendly in that sense, so uh, kudos to them for that, but I just don't like what it is. That's not an intrinsic knock of the game. It's just, it's not for me. I don't enjoy that sort of game, so uh, polemics have passed for me. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out more videos we do here on the Dice Tower. I'm Brian Drake on the latest retro. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at the latest retro, Instagram at the latest retro. And until next time, we'll see you.
Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is...